Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from uh, Alvarado Alvarado Street. And they are based out of Salinas, California. They also are well known for a sour program, actually. Never had anything from them, but uh, well known for that. They've been on sour hour before. But this is Thunder in Paradise, double IPA, milk, sugar, and oats. So this is a New England kind of a milky, hazy kind of thing. So. Oh, they're, they're a member for 1% for the planet, in case anyone is curious. Mm -hmm. um, that's awesome, mm -hmm. actually. And a beautiful kind of retro uh, kind of style. Uh, what is it? Like yeah. early 90s, late 80s, you know, kind of rem reminds me of some of those. Yeah. Uh, you guys can post in the comments below about uh, what the genre of music I'm thinking of. It's like hype, pretty, oh, new retro. I don't know. It's like a flashback to uh, retro music of the 80s and um, design as well. Like and 80s, 90s hip hop? No, 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 no. Like pop music. Oh. Miami Horror. I love Miami Horror. I'll post it in the comments below. That's what I'm going to jam out to in a minute. After this song, oh, so God, after no. this review, so. Um, I am here. Anyway, uh, beer comes in completely hazy, hazy. Uh, comes in a uh, light to slightly medium gold color, slightly off white nice head, tiny, fluffy head, fluffy head cool. on that. Uh, looks good retention. It's slow moving on the sides. It smells like a good one, you know. Mm hmm. Oh, this one's different Animal than the last beer. one we had. Okay, so this one definitely has some like pineapple starburst. Like, but under ripe pineapple to me. Uh, strawberry starburst. Definitely has more of the lemonade aroma. Kamaqua, so some of the sweet citrus. And tartness. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's all the. It's oh, like, yeah, it's probably got citrus on it. Citrus galaxy name. Oh, that. for sure. Mmm. Okay, so this doesn't have as much of the green. As you complained about with the last one. Mm -hmm. um, this one is, is again, fluffy. I wouldn't say... Beautiful head. Just like... Oh, it is. It, yeah. It, it lasts. Mm -hmm. Really wonderful head retention on that. A lot of protein. Mm. It's fluffy, but it, it's also like just super juicy right up front. Mm -hmm. So it's just... It just, co you know, coats your mouth and like wet. Mangoes, cantaloupe. Yeah. Um, really sweet citrus, navel orange, cara cara. What are those cuties? Cuties, tangerine. Cuties. Yeah, tangerine. Couldn't think of it. Tangerine and mandarin. A little bit of green pop character. Mm -hmm. uh, decent fluffy. Not too sweet. A little bit of... Actually, this is a nice restrained use of lactose. I wouldn't have assumed there was lactose in this beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I actually forgot there was. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's yeah. where lactose is well. It's just very juicy. Yeah. Very lightly carbonated. Um, this is good. Yeah. I think, again, lactose is fine in this beer. Like, you're making New England IPA. Throw a little bit of lactose in there. And then while these brewers out there, it's like, get the lactose in there, but I can use dextrose and, you know, candy sugar, Belgian traditional beer, like all this yeah. nonsense. Like, it's just another, like, sugar that you're using. It's a different type of sugar. It, it, if anything, it's, you know, traditional and uh, birch style sweet stout. So, like, you know, it's like, can't you use lactose? You gotta use dextrose and candy sugar and I just love inverted this. sugar and all this nonsense. This is a super beautiful. Beautiful label. Beautiful label. I'm yeah. gonna get closer with that. There's, like, a speedboat on there. I think this is... This is really pretty. It's got that uh, Hawaii Five. Uh, what was it? Uh, Nine Two One Zero. No, Hawaii Five O. Okay. Miami Five O. Is that what it is? I don't know. I haven't lived here my whole life. <sighs> I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking Nine Two One Zero. I'm not. I'm not an eighties kid, man. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean we were I'm, we were, were born in the late eighties. Yeah. I don't think that really counts. No. I mean. I'm a thousands kid. I'm not even nineties. Oh no, I'm a nineties kid for I'm sure. A kid, so. Like. We just, I just like went on my whole playlist of mm -hmm. 90s music. The other it's a really day, nice, so. beautiful hop character. A little bit of sweetness in the middle, a little bit of mm. loaded quality. Nice, a little bit of chewy white breadiness. Um, a little bit of green hop character on the back end, not as intense and too terrible. Uh, what's your final impression rating on this one? Mm, this oh. is really good. I think this one is like really balanced. Um, and awesome, while, else? okay, that's where I'm, what I'm getting to. While it's got a lot of different flavors and things going on, um, it's safe. Oh, so there's not there's not like a huge roller coaster, you know, like I've discussed in the past. Yeah. Um, but it's it's got a lot of really good flavor packed in that you're able to sit there and pick out. You know, with each sip, you're kind of noticing different characteristics in it. Um, you know, and I think as it warms up, I'm noticing more and more flavors and aromas. It's becoming more floral as it warms up. This is a really good beer. I think this is a really good good example of um, 
of uh, of the New England style IPA. IPA. Um, but it, again, it's very safe. Um, you know, which isn't a bad thing. You know, like I mean, I know it can have some like ne- negative connotation, but like really, no, I mean it in a positive way. This is safe. This is good. So I think it's just a, a classic New England style. I'm glad IPA. I forced you to say what balance meant because who the hell knows what that means anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was getting there. What's your rating? Uh, rating. I'm gonna go ahead and actually give this a ninety-seven. Jesus Christ! Yeah, because this is look, actually like, really know. good. I'm gonna do this, but I don't wanna. Don't wanna wake Amelia because no. Anyway, uh, for me, yes, this is way better than the last uh, example of eight uh, bit uh, from we had. Again, uh, for the shout out. This is thanks to a vintage beer enthusiast. Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and congrats. Congratulations on Surf House again. Uh, this is great. I think this is uh, one of the best use of black toast that I've had in New England IPA. It just has a little bit of that sweetness in the middle that it makes it actually taste like sherbet or something. Yeah, you're right. It tastes like, it, yeah. So it's a like New England IPA. Like a push pop. Push pop. And it bumps up the little flavor up there. And then it helps hide that kind of green hop character that's hiding in the back end. Mm-hmm. Uh, really well executed. What's the ABV on this? Did, did we? I don't think we ever discussed that. I don't think it's even posted on there. Who knows? It has to be. I would have guessed it was something oh, like eight or not. Around. Sorry, excuse me. Brown 8%. No, no. Eight, yeah, 8.1. I don't have my glasses on. Well, there you go. 8.1%. Um, it almost actually tastes a little bit like one of the other half beers. You guys had the other half beers. I would say like 6.57%. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> uh, been drinking. Yeah. Uh, uh, this one for me gets a 96. So we're like right around the same. 96. 96, 97. Yeah. All right, cool. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much to Vintage Beer Enthusiasts. Please check them out on Instagram. This is absolutely fantastic. Until next time, guys. Cheers.